I had a really good question through social media. Uh, a younger hunter, I think he's like 13 or 14. Um, shout out to Jack for following the page for apparently like two or three years. I mean, I guess since he was like 10 or so. And, and he asked me, he said, uh, Ty, what buck has meant the most to you? And I was like, that's a really, that's a really good question. Um, and there's a lot of different answers that I could give. And you know, a lot of people are gonna go to Cicero because he's my biggest. But I wouldn't necessarily say, I, I actually know I wouldn't say that he's he's that buck, you know. Um, a lot of people might think, you know, my 2020 season when I shot the 13 minute buck was just full of anguish and a lot of issues and hurt and uh, I think that was one of the years I lost all those trail cameras. People were trespassing. It was just full of a ton of stuff. And then, and then there's the buck, Junior, who his story isn't just his story. His story also includes the story of RD, which is why he was called Junior, which was like a four year endeavor. And uh, that, 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 that deer jumped out in my mind. Um, there's the very first buck that I killed on the 22 splits. Um, amazing deer. Now that deer would get to walk. I would film him and I would let him walk. He giant potential in genetics. I, some people would probably think it might be the very first buck I killed, which I end up using this video I'll throw it up here but it was the very first year that's actually at my work office um, but to be to be very honest with you the first deer that jumped to my mind was actually the last buck taken on the homestead property and it was taken by my dad um, being with him when we walked down that trail and found that deer, knowing then that that was likely the end. Um, the homestead's what made me. The homestead property is where I cut my teeth. It's where I killed my first deer. I killed my first buck. Um, killed quite a few deer there. And. that deer jumped out to my mind because it was my, my dad got to put the cherry on the top of that property. And I felt for so long, my dad had always taken the back seat. He'd always let me go and hunt and then he had taken what was left and things of that nature. Um, if I wanted to hunt and there was only one stand for a good win, he found an excuse. I know he did to not hunt so then I could go. And it was really awesome that he got to experience the last buck taken by either of us on the homestead. So, Jack, I think that was an amazing question. That is exactly what my answer is. Um, it's not even a buck of my own, but it's a buck that I was part of. And uh, me and Pops hunt as one, as I've said. So his success is my success. My success is his success. And that's your answer. God bless. Oh my gosh. Dad, he's dead. Yeah. Is this a mature buck or what? Oh my gosh, Dad. He's been dead a long time. Yeah, he's stiff. He's a nine. Nine.